What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and today I'm excited to start a brand new series, and that is a College Hoops 2K8 Legacy series. Now, yes, in the past, I've tried a couple of these series, and I would quit barely halfway through, but that was usually due to technical issues with, like, the emulator, uh, just having some freezing issues, but those have been fixed. At least they should be. And I'm just excited to get into this because I got college basketball on my mind. The season is well underway, and I thought it'd be a good time to get my feet wet and start playing some more basketball. Now, what you see in front of you is the Tennessee roster. Not only that, it is the 2022-23 roster. That's right. I am using the latest roster file. I'll have a link in the description below. I got it off the Operation Sports Forum. Really good work by the handful of guys who uh, worked on these roster files. And on top of that, they also updated the conferences as best as they could with the limitations that they have with the game. But we're going to look at all that um, a little bit later. So this legacy, it is, by the title of the video, as you can see, this is a Tennessee Volunteers legacy. So I'm going to do an open legacy i want to stick with one team and just ride it out and tennessee's got a pretty decent team already but i'm going to at least play several seasons with this at least i'd like to and i'm really excited because everybody knows uh tennessee they are my team and it's been so long since i've done any type of dynasty with my favorite team that being the vol so let's get right into it we're going to go right into game modes legacy we're going to do an open legacy and let's go and switch the half length to 15 i've always had good Pretty realistic scores and stats all 15-minute quarters. Injuries, I want on. Transfers, on. I want players leaving early. I want that turned on. Pop-up, pay-up, I'm going to turn that off. I don't think I'll need that. I can always change it later. Customized conferences, I am going to turn this off. I don't need to switch anything around, but I do want to show you something a little bit later. Customized schedule, yes, we want that on. So let's go ahead and hit yes. And let's select our team. Now, again, we are going to go with my beloved Tennessee Volunteers. And notice what you see right here. This is uh, updated, to say the least. We got 13 teams. Of course, the SEC has 14 teams. But I think, for whatever reason, the guys who are working on this roster file uh, could not put Vanderbilt in here. Vanderbilt actually is in the ACC. You go over to the Atlantic Coast Conference, and they got them down there. I think it was just a limitation thing for whatever reason, but Wake Forest, Virginia Tech, all of the ACC teams are in here, which I think is pretty cool, including Notre Dame. But for whatever reason, I wasn't able to uh, move Vanderbilt back to make all this look realistic because if you swap teams around, that's the only way you can actually move uh, teams. So I don't know how they've done it on their end because uh, all these other teams are ACC schools. Otherwise, I'd put Vanderbilt back in the SEC and we'd put somebody back over into the ACC, but we don't. So when you go back to the SEC conference, as you see right here, all of the 14 teams are here except, of course, Vanderbilt. So there's nobody I could move over for that to make sense. Me being a Tennessee fan, I could care less where Vanderbilt's at. I don't like Vanderbilt, so I'm fine with them being in the ACC. Uh, but we are going to go with Tennessee. As you can see, they got 85 overall talent. We got some pretty good talent to work with. But when it comes to uh, history, basketball-wise with Tennessee, there's not much there. We've never been to a Final Four. That's a goal of mine. Uh, try to win a bunch of championships, of course. But I just want to try to do things that I've never seen Tennessee do before, and that's what we're going to try to do with this series. So let's select Tennessee, and thankfully they let me change uh, around my uh, coach. And what we could do here now, there is Rick Barnes. Again, all of the coaches have been updated, which is really cool. The conferences, just all that is just really neat. But we are going to put my name in here. I'm going to go with, let's delete all of this. We're going to put in my name. How am I going to... Let's do... Uh, let's do that. And let's go to Al. And we'll go to last name. I'm going to delete every bit of this. And we're going to go to... Let's see. I should be down here. And yes, Al Sexton. That's my name. I am 36 years old. Uh, no offense to Rick Barnes, but I want to create myself. I am 5'10". Uh, skin color, that's fine. I'm as white as a sheet. Uh, let's go... What type of suit? Uh, we, we can keep it simple. I, it's all suits. There's no... I wish I could wear like a sweater, go like the Bob Knight look. Uh, uh, we'll go with that. Okay. Uh, and I don't think I could change it later, but that's not a big deal. When it comes to these heads, uh, none of these look like me at all. 
This is about as close as you can get as that guy right there. So that's what we'll go with. And I actually don't have my own profile set up, but we'll just go with pro, uh, player one. That's fine. All right. Now, here's the interesting thing. I, I mean, I, what I can go ahead and do, so this is an open legacy. You notice with the attributes, I can go ahead and max out the rest of my coach if I wanted to. Uh, I could do that. Uh, I don't know if that's, is that cheating? I don't know if it is. I don't think it really matters. Uh, at this point, we got a really good team anyways. I'm just going to go ahead and max all of this out. It's going to give me the option to do so, so I might as well go ahead and do it. So I'm going to be like the greatest looking coach ever now. I still got to perform out on the court, but we're going to go with A-plus across the board. And again, this is the only team I'm going to stick with, and we're already a really strong team as is, so I'm okay with this. Let's go to our assistant coaches. Now, I am excellent at everything. We need to find some guys who are really good at some other things as well. Biggest thing is recruiting. That's what I want to see. Uh, let's go. You know, you look at your attributes. we got offense, defense, teaching, scouting, and charisma. I like that guy who can scout at an A. At an a. Uh, Jeffries, I may keep him. Bone, I may keep him as well because he's a B. I don't think we can find anybody better. So I think we're going to stick with these two guys right here. Uh, we're already really good ourselves, or the head coach, when it comes to everything. So having uh, good complimentary guys who can do some other good things as well. Uh, so I think I'm okay with all of that right there. So I'm not going to change anybody out. All right, now here is our schedule. Now they have, uh, I can switch this around. I'm not going to try to get this remotely close to what the current schedule is. I'm not too worried about that. Uh, but I can go to swap team and I can change somebody out. Uh, like LaSalle, Northeastern. And they got us a lot of weird road games. Uh, what we can do, I want to switch this out with Colorado. I know we played Colorado this year. We got beat by them, actually. Uh, can we? Yes, we could put Colorado there. We'll do that as an at. Uh, yes, we'll go to Colorado. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to swap this around for home. And I want to add another home game at LaSalle. And see, this is all kind of goofy. We got, we're got we going to have a home here. Uh, I want to add, well, let's look at the rest of our non-conference schedule. I want to add more tough games. Like with the Legends Classic, it's going to have some pretty good teams in it. I would like to add one more top 25 team somewhere. I'm going to have, we're going to change that to a home I'm going to change this to a home, and I'm going to go to Northeastern. At, uh, we're going to switch this back. We're going to go Swap Team. We're going to put somebody really good right here. Let's go, I don't know, let's go to the uh, ACC. Hopefully none of these teams are in our little uh, comp or little uh, tournament that I'm talking about, that Legends Classic. Uh, it doesn't show who is ranked, so I can't, I didn't think about this. I should have planned ahead a little bit. Let's go Big Ten. Uh, let's go up against Purdue, maybe rank. I know, like, we can do like Michigan State. It just it just doesn't show that if they're ranked or not. But I don't mind going to Michigan State. Uh, you look at the rest of these teams: uh, Louisiana, Kennesaw State, Green Bay. Just some really bad teams right there. But I think I'm okay with that. Uh, we may try out one more. Uh, like we could go Kennesaw State and go to a really good road game somewhere else. Let me go to Swap Team, Kennesaw State. We can go to, oh, I don't know. We can go to, like, the Big 12, maybe take on Texas. We can do something like that. We can have them come here, maybe. Uh, and I can probably swap that around. We can maybe do something like at Texas. Let's do that. How about that? I think we're going to leave that as is. Now, you can look at the rest of this. We got Texas A&M, Corpus Christi there, and the rest of that should be conference games. So I think I'm okay with the rest of that. Uh, I don't want to get uh, too in-depth with the roster or with the schedule side of things. So it's going to do its thing here. Now, the ABL, I've talked about this in the past. Yes, you could do the ABL. It's a very time-consuming. I mean, you can kind of cheat your way to shorten it. You can get like one-minute quarters. I mean, one-minute halves. You can do stuff like that just to kind of get through it. For the sake of this series, I'm not going to deal with the ABL. We're going to have plenty of recruiting points to begin with. So I'm going to simulate it. For every season. Uh, right now, we got a total of 6,000 points for this season. I think we're going to be okay with that. So, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but if you really want to get in-depth with this game, yeah, by all means, do the ABL stuff. 
All right, uh, that should be it for that. I want to go to the college season. And here we are. We are starting our new uh, legacy. Now, today, we're probably going to do nothing but preseason stuff. You go to your schedule, and it'll be a while before we play our first game. I got a lot of recruiting to do, a lot of other things I need to change before we play our first game, which will be in our next video. So what we're going to do is, first of all, let's go to the coach's office, and let's go to coach profile. Recruiting, I'm going to turn this off. That's going to be manual. Uh, recruiting priorities, uh, this should be interesting. Uh, we can go athleticism. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to probably do shooting first. This is our offensive uh, priority. Then here, we'll probably go athleticism. I'll probably go with that, maybe. I need some just absolute athletic studs out there for what I want to do. Offensive playbook, I'm going to run the stack offense. That's only if... For those of you who watched my series before, I was very stack heavy just because I like the way uh, the wing players are out on the wing. We got two guys down low, things like that. Plus, I don't use the uh, plays in this game very often. I think they're very slow and hardly any of them work all that well. So stack kind of just works best for me. Uh, primary defense will probably stick with man. Uh, secondary defense, I'm going to go man across the board. I may switch that up later throughout the season. Who knows? But I think we're going to go man across the board. Full court press, I know I'm going to do this like a 1-2-2-1, one, two, two, one, but I'm not going to use it until I need to. Uh, I'm not worried about that yet. Uh, bench depth, I always like to go 10. I like to do the hockey change style of switching guys out and such. Just the way the fatigue kind of works in this game. I've always done best doing a bench step at around 10. Uh, tempo and whatnot, we can do, uh, let's do 70 uh, for pressure. I don't mind doing about 80 for that one. Uh, defensive, rebounding, and fast break. That's a toughie. Uh, we can probably do 65% uh, per to go into the fast break. Transition, defense, and fast boards. I may put that like a 50 for now. A lot of these are very important in how you play. But at least we got all that situated. I like every bit of that. Let's go to uh, management. Let's go to roster. Now, here is our roster. Uh, we got a few seniors. We got Santiago Vescovi. He's a point guard. I'll actually probably be having him playing shooting guard. He's more of a shooting guard than a point. Uh, Josiah Jordan James is actually more of a small four, but they got him at shooting guard. I did not uh, change any of these other things. The only thing I did change, Vescovi, he had blonde hair. I gave him brown hair. Uh, let's see, Tyreek Key, he's a transfer from Indiana State, so very guard-heavy. Uh, Julian Phillips, he's a small forward. He's a true freshman All-American we picked up. Uh, B.J. Edwards may be a point guard. I will probably redshirt. Ziegler's going to be our backup point guard. Uh, Adu is probably going to be our starting center, more than likely. I don't know, we may have two big guys. Um, he may be our power forward. I don't know, we'll, uh, or maybe Kamwa may be our uh, number two guy. I don't know. Uh, Adu is so tall, I think he's going to be my backup center or maybe my starting center. And then we're going to have Plavich. Plavich in real life is our starting center, but they got him as a 63 overall. So I'm just kind of looking at the total roster. Like, here's another true freshman, DJ Jefferson. I may redshirt. Meshack is going to come off the bench. And then we got uh, Toby uh, Awaka. He's a freshman. I may redshirt him as well. So we got about like a dozen dudes here, but everything is going to go through a lot of these guards and wing players and such. Our front court, in terms of putting up the points, not a whole lot, but I got my way around uh, fixing a lot of that. So let's go uh, back to uh, management, situational lineup. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to have, you notice I like to have three pointers on uh, the wing. So I need Viscobi at least playing shooting guard at, at starting. We are going to have... Uh, I could put Ziegler back at the starting point. I think what we'll probably do is maybe have... Let me look at the handle for some of these guys. 78, 85, 84 for James. Uh, we will probably have... Uh, let's see. He, they got him as a 6'6 shooting guard. We're going to have Adu at the 5. Kamwa is probably going to be at the 4. And we're going to have... I actually think I may have James playing the point. Only because I don't need him to shoot a ton of threes. Phillips needs to start more than likely. Uh, I'm just thinking of handle for the point guard and who can pass and such. 69, uh, 78. Uh, James just got better 
handles, which is interesting. So what we're going to do is have Ziggler be the backup point guard. Key, we're going to have... Uh, I kind of need to figure out how I'm going to put at the point. I think it may just leave James there because I want Phillips to start. Uh, Key, Ziggler, uh, Jefferson, uh, Meshack is going to come right here. And I'm going to put uh, Plavich right there at the 10. Uh, at the 10. At the backup center spot. And I need a power forward situation right here because this guy's going to red shirt. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. BJ Edwards, I'm going to have him red shirt. Uh, I'll probably have this guy redshirt as well. I don't know. This is kind of tough for me to think. Uh, forgive me for not doing this kind of beforehand. But I want you to see everything. Just kind of give you my thoughts on how I'm going to do that. Uh, we're going to have... I can't switch those around. Why I cannot switch those around? Don't understand. Uh, but that's okay. We can leave that for now. I would like to sit uh, set this up. And, let's see. A walk. Uh, we can do something like that. At least we got our bench right there. Okay. So that should work fine uh one thing i'm not worried about rotations we're not going to deal with zone substitutions injuries pep talks i'm not worried about any of that so i think we're okay with the rest of that now one thing i do need to show you when you go to save and auto save i have that turned off this is what made me have so many glitches and freezes at the end of game so i make sure i have that turned off so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to save the legacy i'm going to override that old one i haven't touched that in forever so we've saved it. Uh, let's go to development. Uh, when it comes to... I haven't touched this in so long. I don't know how much of this I will do when it comes to bonus drills, but I probably will do the training. I used to do this quite a bit. I'm going to do this before the next video. I'll have all that set up. Right now, they got everybody just kind of just generally doing better across the board. But I'm going to have these guys specialize in certain things later on. But I'm not going to waste your time you watching me go through all these because there are a total of what 24 weeks to do that and it just takes forever so i'll do that at a later time uh playbooks i'm just looking at this other stuff around the ncaa standings and such we're going to go through that a little bit later uh i'm not going to do that preview show uh I, I may show you that i'm not really sure the biggest thing we all want to see though is recruiting i think we can go ahead and start looking at that let's go to recruits now sx we got six scholarships to offer and I wonder who's the most interested. When you go over here, and you notice power forward, center, shooting guard, center, point guard, center, center, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, I have a feeling we're going to have, let me go to the seniors. We go to the seniors, and you go to like centers. We got a ton of centers interested in us because we don't have technically any centers on our roster. We got a bunch of power forwards. But you see a bunch of power forwards here small forwards and uh, other things but let's go i'm gonna go to four star and above uh, five star and below so let's start off with the centers and i'm gonna be very picky i'm surprised i got a six scholarships that's a whole lot now looks like we don't have a single five star center out there let's look at these centers right here now the biggest thing for a center is i need height that's the big i mean Nothing is more unquestionable than needing some height. So let's just take our time and go through some of these. This will be the bulk of the video, just me going through all the recruiting stuff. I'm going to try my best to not waste a ton of time on players I don't think I have a chance at. But uh, this guy's 6'8". I'm not going to bother him. Maybe he could play a power forward down the road. But we need somebody like this out of Gary, Indiana. Uh, Kirby Greer, 7 feet, 247 pounds. Uh and it says he is a regional player. So let's look at this guy. I'm going to go ahead. Uh, what is, how do I put him on my target list? There you go. We got to have this guy on our target list. I'm going to leave him there for now. We got some other dudes. Like, let's look at this right here. Do we have a chance on any of these guys? So you notice this kid right here, 7'1", 244 pound, Robbie Rickard. Look how tall he is. He's a monster. But look at our interest. As of right now, if we offer him scholarship, I think we would have a chance of maybe getting him. I would love to have him. Uh, we're going to probably put him on our list as well. So what we're going to do, we'll put him on the list. Uh, let me look at this kid while we're at it. Uh, so this is the Kirby Greer. Very good shape for him. Let's go to the next guy. Uh, that's the next one. Uh, let's look at this guy. We may have a chance for him. Kid out of California. Uh, we got a chance for this center, but he's very small. A 6'9", six, 6'9". Nine, six, nine. So let's look at this other... Six eight six eight six nine. So I think those are the two we are going to look at for now. Uh, what else do we need to look at? Let's go to our roster. 
Now let's go to management and roster. And I want to sort this. There we go. That's what I want to say. So when it comes to power forwards, we got a senior. We got a freshman. Uh, Adu is a sophomore. I'm really excited about him. Uh, and uh, Plavich, which he's technically a, a senior or a center, and he's a senior, I guess. He is going to be gone. But Adu is going to be probably our starting five next year if I can find a really tall dude. So maybe when you look at another power forward, possibly. I don't know. We'll see. I don't mind playing two centers at once. Point guards, we got three. We got a sophomore, we got a freshman, and we got Fiscovi. I actually think we're okay here. I don't think we'll need another big point guard coming in. I can recruit one, though. Apparently, I got plenty of scholarships to play with to do that. Uh, let's look at some more guys. Uh, small forward, we got a freshman, and we got a freshman. I fully expect Phillips. He may go pro early. I do have that set up to where he can't go pro early. Uh, but we are in good shape at small forward. Shooting guard. As you can see here, we got a senior in Josiah Jordan James. Key is a senior. And we got one sophomore who's just not the best in the world. Let me look at Meshach. I'm curious to see what he's got. Looks like he can't do much of anything. I think he's an athlete. They got his dunk at a 75. Yeah, that's right. So we may need to look at a guard, a shooting guard of some sort. We may just look at all positions. So how about we just do that? So let me go back to recruiting. And let's look at, let's go back to seniors. I'm not really interested in JUCO kids. Let's go to seniors. Let's go to five stars for now. And then let's go to power forward and see what we got here. Do we got a chance? Like this kid right here out of New York, I think we got a chance. Uh, first of all, let me try one thing. Let me go look at local. We got two local dudes right here. We got a shooting guard out of Atlanta, Georgia, and a small forward out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, let's see. Uh, looks like entrance-wise, I think we got a chance there. Uh, the next guy is, looks like we may have a really good chance here. I think it's worth going after both of these guys. Look at this guy. He's the number four player overall. Let me just go ahead and add both of these guys, since they're local. Next, I think you got the region, which, yeah, that looks to be the case. Uh, I think we can afford to be very picky. I think we are top 15 slash 20 program. I think we can go after some serious dudes. So let's go. I'm not worried about, uh, we can do it by region for now. Uh, we can do it nationally. We recruit pretty nationally, as is Barnes did. So let's go point guard. Uh... This wasn't a big need for us, but as you can see here, we may have a chance with a couple of these guys. Biggest thing with a point guard, I just need somebody who can uh, really handle the ball and pass well. I don't really need a, a killer shooter or anything. But here's an All-American, W.C. Gallows. Uh, we can try. I mean, I know we're 10th place, but we're kind of like right there with everybody else. So I don't mind uh, checking him out. That, he's kind of close. It says region. Uh, oops, uh, let's go shooting guard we already got one that we are looking at let's look at this kid right here at a chicago illinois another all-american looks like we are in really good shape here i mean i think we need to and he's a an all-state or not an all-state but he's a mr basketball in the state of illinois uh looks like we got a chance for this kid out of idaho looks like we're in good shape for a lot of these kids uh, uh let's go and looks like we are in really good shape for him let me just take a chance on this guy. Biggest thing I need is shooting guard is somebody who can shoot three. So for now, we'll just put them on the uh, on the target list. Small four. We're already going after one guy. Here are a couple of other ones out of New York, uh, Nebraska. I'm all about getting these Mr. Basketball dudes. Uh, looks like I may not bother with him. Uh, this guy may be worth it. Small four is really no different than a shooting guard for me. I need somebody who can really shoot, but if he could be a very good athlete, that would help as well. Uh... Let's just take a chance on him for now. I keep hitting that button. I don't mean to. Power forward. Now, let's look at some more five-star kids. Now, it's going to be super hard recruiting these. Just because we're kind of in the mix already doesn't mean we got a great chance of getting them. Uh, biggest thing, a power forward. I kind of need, like, another center in a way. They're kind of like the same thing. But I need somebody who's really good at the low post type of stuff. Uh, this kid, like, right here, California kid, Mr. Basketball. I actually wouldn't mind taking a chance on him. I'm telling you, these Mr. Basketball dudes just have a different gear to them. So let's just go ahead and add him to the list. And I think I'm going to go after this guy as well. Uh, Jaja Kreitz. Uh, that's a great name. 
Let's just go and put the target, uh, add him to the list. So that gives us 10 guys to just kind of focus in on. And we're going to swap in a bunch of dudes over time. So let's go back to that. And let's go to our target list if I can get to it. There we go. Target list. Now, I'm just going to go down the list. And we are going to go with request game tape. I'm not even going to, well, I guess I can go ahead and do this. Let's go here. I'm going to do game tape for all of these guys. Now, we got a ton of points to spend on some of these players. I noticed we had a chance to fly out to go see somebody. Biggest thing is I need to see the film. I need to see what these guys have to offer. We'll do something like that. Do something like that. Uh, can I? There we go. I want to put that in order. Now, what I want to do is I want to see what they can do. Right now, we got a center. We know he's super tall. Uh, his rebounding, offensive rebounds, pretty good. Steals okay. Uh, what about this other center? Uh, what we can do here? I'm gonna go by position. Let's do that first because centers are most important position. We need to go after this kid right here. Uh, B at low post defense. That's pretty good. Steal. His rebounding is just okay. Not the greatest in the world, but I would take either one of these in a heartbeat. I would love to have both. Uh, so let me look and see what we got. Uh, we're already up here at the top of the list for this guy, and we're getting there for this one. So I'm going to go ahead for Greer. I can't. Uh, we can phone the recruit. I'm not ready to do a visit on these guys yet. Let me go here. I don't think we can offer scholarships until a little bit later. Uh, so let's go to power forward. So let's look at these two guys. Uh, I want to go... What do they give me? Uh... Uh, defense awareness, is it a B? Defensive rebound, is it B for this guy? I'd love to see his low post offense. We're going to have to figure that out in time. But for now, what we're going to do is we'll phone the recruit. We're going to phone this recruit as well. Let's look at him. This guy looks really good. I would love to have this guy for sure. And, of course, he's like the number three player overall in the country. Who wouldn't? But you look here. I think we got a chance at him. Unfortunately, I think this is the kid worth really going after. This one right here. Just because I think this kid's going to be an absolute stud. Yes, he's a top five player, but I bet he's got good low post offense too. I'm going to go ahead and take a chance on him. And if he doesn't, maybe he can shoot threes pretty well. So let's go and I want to... Uh, let's visit him. I think he's worth visiting. And we'll do that for now. we got plenty of points left for this a week. So let's go and keep looking here. Starting off with this guy right here. Uh, Whitsworth, he is a small forward. We're still in pretty good shape. Everybody's kind of lined up right there. I want to see this. Okay, we already know everything about him. I think he's an ABL kid. Small forward, can he shoot the three? B minus? Ooh, that's not the best in the world. Uh, I wish that was better. If he can't shoot a three, he better be able to be super athletic and do some crazy things. Uh, his vertical is a B minus. Can he dunk okay at least? Where's his dunk right now? It's at a B. What's his best traits? Medium, close, layup. So he's definitely a drive to the basket kind of guy. B minus on the hands, B on the pass, pretty defense. Ball. He's a defensive guy, which I don't mind having, but I really need somebody who can shoot a three or at least uh, get up some, dunk it, something like that along those lines. What's his speed? It's just at a C. Uh, I don't know. He's a five star kid, yet all that, it's just okay. Uh, but if you go back and look, I think we got a chance at him. I'm going to wait and put anything on him just yet. I just want overly impressed. He's not what really what I'm looking for. Let's look at this kid right here. Kid out of Texas, Ken Bogans. We are in great shape here. Uh, I want to see this. We don't know what he can do yet. I need to see this guy can shoot a three or at least get some speed to him. So for this guy, I'm going to go scout the game. Let's bring, let's send that guy. How about that? So for now, we'll do that. So let's look at these three shooting guards. Starting off with the kid out of Atlanta. We know everything about him. Now, he's got a C on the three-point. That's I don't need that. That's not good enough for me, unfortunately. I hate to be that picky, but his block is pretty good for a shooting guard. Now, you got to remember, A- minus, like on a block doesn't mean he's A-, minus. he's just a killer block. That's just for a shooting guard. It's all relative to the position. He can pass pretty well. His handle isn't very good. He can't, uh, his dunk is a D. 
His three-point scares me. I just wish that was a whole lot better. So I'm not super excited about this kid. I'm really not. So what I may do is not... He's not even fast. But he's a... I mean, his best trait, he can shoot up close. He can block for a shooting guard. And that's kind of it. Ugh, I'm just not very fond of him. I'm really not. So I think I may pass on this guy. I hate that. Look at him. Is it, he says he's a top five player in the country, which is really weird, but I just didn't like what I saw. So let's just keep, I don't know. Let's just keep going to the next guy. All right. Now, Rick Torres, another shooting guard who can't shoot. Uh, I'm not overly excited. I, I'd like to find out more about him. Let's go on to the next guy. All right. Three-point baller. We got a B-plus on a three-point for a shooting guard. This is the kid I really want to go after. Frederick Staley, and he is a Mr. Basketball. Out of, uh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to visit him. We're going to do the all-out for that guy. I think he's well worth it. He's He has what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm going to phone the recruit as well. So I actually need to write some of these guys' names down. Let's go on to the next guy. Here is, oh, that's it. These are the three we're going after. So Staley is the one I liked out of those three. Uh, but I'm going to leave that there for now. I, these guys may be backups in case I can't find, I can't get this guy. Uh, last but not least, let's look at this point guard for now. We got a three-point shooter. Now, I can move this guy to uh, shooting guard if needed. Biggest thing, can he handle the ball? Can he pass the ball? And it's just okay. But we got a decent shot at him at least. Uh, I'm not really excited about putting any more points on him, to be honest. I hate to be like that. So let's go back to Staley. I, I'm done doing anything with him. Bogans was just the one that I really wanted. Uh, we just don't know yet. We'll find out after the week. We'll see what he can do. Uh, we know Whitworth was a B-. minus. That was just okay. But these two centers I know I want. And Kreitz is definitely another guy I want. So we're down to 93 points for the week. So we're going to go back here. I'm going to go back to all. I can put some points on, uh, let's see, the the center. We need more. I'm going to show him some more love. So let's go and visit him. Rickert, I want to, looks like we're down to eight points across the board. I think we're out of points. Can we, here's a phone recruit. Let's just use these points as best we can. And let's do another email. We're going to email everybody. One thing I need to do is red shirt some players. I haven't got to do that yet. Uh, where can I do that? Is it coach office? Is it management? Roster? There we go. That's how you red shirt players. So let's go look at this. Uh, James Key Phillips Edwards. He is going to be my... Oh, man. He may need to be my starting point guard over Vescovi. I don't know. I got to think about this. Let me go back. I'm so sorry. I should have thought about this earlier. I just wasn't expecting these overalls to be different than what I was expecting in real life. But Kamwa uh, here, Phillips, James. Again, I'm going to have James. He's at 73. Phillips is 74. A small forward. Uh, we are going to redshirt a couple. We're going to redshirt. I'm not going to redshirt Awaka. He, apparently, he's just not good enough. 68240 says low post offense. Any count at least. Uh, where can we find it? Right here, 65. Just not all that great. But Edwards, I think I'm going to red shirt along with. I think that's it. I just don't think we'll need him this year. So we're going to red shirt Edwards. I'm going to go and back to roster and we're going to red shirt. Where's he at? We're going to red shirt him. There was another freshman I knew it just wasn't going to play. I think we're going to red shirt. Jefferson doesn't even look like, can he do anything? He's got a 70 of the three point. I know he says he's a small forward. He may be playing 62. Eh, just nothing really great here. I may red shirt him as well. So let's go back to situational lineups. We're going to go, I had already switched these around. Uh, Comwall, Adu, we're going to have Key uh, playing. Uh, we're going to have Ziggler here. Key at the two. Meshack. Could be the three, uh, Awaka, and then Plavich. So I think I'm okay with that. So Jefferson and these guys are red shirts. I think we're all good with that. All right, next up, let me go ahead and say this really quickly. Thankfully, I'm playing on an emulator, and it shouldn't take long at all. There you go. Next up, calendar. Uh, we can go ahead and watch this. This may be very loud. Forgive me if it is, but 
we will go ahead and simulate through the day and I'll let you watch this. Uh, I'm going to click OK. I do not want to, we're going to simulate the Midnight Madness. That's a waste of time. No offense to it. It's a pretty cool option, but I just don't want to do it. So I had to cut that out. I forgot that I had the commentary down way low so you couldn't hear anything. So you're just not going to see it. I don't think you're going to miss out on too much there. But what we can do is before we head into the next week, if you go around the NCAA and you look at the polls, they got us seventh in the country. We're already pretty high up as is. But you got Oregon, UCLA, North Carolina, Kansas, Duke, Kentucky, Michigan State. So Michigan State is ranked pretty high. That's good. We had them ranked or had them on the schedule. So I want you to see that. Conferences, uh, again, this is our conference. Vanderbilt's the only one that's not in there. So we got 13 members, which is not a big deal. They are in the ACC. Uh, everything else, I think we don't need to really pay attention to. So let's go back to schedule. We'll go to this uh, day right here. And now we're on to the next week. So let's go back to recruiting. And let's see what we got to deal with. First of all, uh, I still can't offer a scholarship. I need to look and see. All right. So here's the situation. We got a chance of getting this kid. I don't know if we can. I would love to. But it looks like Notre Dame is going to be in there for him pretty hard. I want to look at some other things. Let's go. We got everything we need right here. His low post offense. I need somebody who can rebound pretty well. His offensive rebound is pretty good. Defensive rebound, not so much. Getting good coaching. So that's a priority. So we know we can give that to him. I still think we got a pretty good chance of this kid. But it looks like he may want to stay local. But you look at his uh, priorities, getting good coaching is number one. So we're at an A-plus there. So I think we're going to be fine with that one. Uh, so we're going to stick with this kid for sure. I want to invite him to our campus. He is well worth it, I think. Let's go to the next guy. We're in very good shape for this kid. I want to see what his interest is. Uh, more contact needed. So we need to find out more about this kid. So we're going to visit. Uh, can we do that from here? Let's do this. Oh, we'll do it from this one. Yeah, we'll visit him. We'll try to see what we can because I really want this kid badly. Uh, we need some height down there big time. So that's the most we can do there for him. Let's back out and let's go to the next one. Let me back out here. Let me go by position. Let's go to our point guard. Let's go to targets. Let's look at this guy. Now, did, I, did I want this kid? Let me go back and look again. Oh, what he forgot. Uh, his handle is aware, and he's like a top five player. But the key is that we got a chance. Now, as you can tell, we're already we dropped to number eleventh in the country. I don't think we got a chance with him. Plus, I didn't really like his handle all that well, so we're going to remove him from our target list, and I'm okay with that. So let me go back here. Let's go back to shooting guard, and let's see. This guy's gonna be tough to get, but I didn't really think I wanted him anyways. Because if you go back and look at his. Three-point shooting. I need somebody who can shoot the three. This guy's got to see. So I'm going to take uh, him off our list. We're going to look at this next guy, Torres. Same thing uh, you see here. Looks like he really wants to go to Illinois, which makes sense. That's a local situation. Uh, we just don't know what he's really into, but I really need a, a guy who can shoot a three. So I am going to take him off our list. We may end up getting some four stars, which is perfectly fine. This kid I really want. Do we got a chance? I think we do. I think we got a realistic chance here. So we're going to stick with this guy. I want to visit him for sure. We're going to uh, phone recruit him as well. Now let's go to small forward. We are in seventh place here, but it looks like nobody's recruiting this guy super hard. Um, he's a B minus on the three point. His dunk is a B. His speed is a C. Uh, I think this guy's probably worth going after. Now, again, he's a top 10 player. I know that sounds kind of stupid for me thinking he's not good enough. I think he's worth going after, and I think we got a chance with him too. Uh, let's go ahead, and I want to... I want to... Uh, let's go... Let's visit. Uh, no, let's go... Let's do a scout for now. Let's go with that guy. We could do the phone recruit as well. Uh, next up, we got Bogans. Uh, I need to look at him first. Let's go. Uh, we don't know what he's into yet. We got a really good chance at him, though. Uh, but he can't. His three-point is just fine. And his dunk is just okay. I need a, a just a great athlete. And it, his vertical is a B plus, B minus on the dunk. Uh, I think we can go ahead and at least put more time into him. I'm going to leave him on the list. Uh, to two power forwards. This was the kid that I... 
we're already 10th and we're kind of way behind on some of these other ones. I don't think we're going to get this kid. So I'm going to cut ties with him. I think we're too far away. It's going to be tough. This kid right here, I think we got a chance. We really need to try going after him. We're third on his list. Uh, being close to home, this is going to be the issue. You look at his list, he wants to be close to home, but he's got Florida, Boston College, Tennessee, Pittsburgh, uh, Michigan State. I'm still going to give a chance. I, I, I have to. I got to try for this kid. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have enough points to do anything with him yet. We're down to 74 points. Uh, let me back out here. But we got to keep him on the list. And these two centers, we've already tried. Uh, I think we've already put some points on them. Uh, yes, I think we're kind of filled up there. So let's go back and look at our target list. We're down to these six guys. So we dropped some dudes. We're still in it for these two centers. We got a small forward, a shooting guard, another small forward, and a power forward. I'm going to go after another guard, shooting guard, and maybe a point guard. Let's go find another couple of those. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go just refresh this, do something like that. Let's go to the four-star kids. Let's go four-star. I'm going to do local. Uh, we're going to do seniors. Uh... We're going to do seniors, and we're going to do four stars. And we're going to highlight that. I'm going to go to point guard next. And we got a few regional guys. We may have a chance with this kid. Uh, kid out of Illinois. Another kid out of Illinois. All, all these Illinois kids. I don't care about the height of a point guard. That's not that big of a deal to me. Uh, we may have a chance with this guy. It looks like we're already at the top spot for him. Or at the maybe the number two spot. We just don't know what he is good at. But I want to put this guy on our list. And he's out of uh, Augusta, Georgia. So let's go ahead and add him to the list. We got a bunch of bunch of point guard, bunch of four-star point guards. I mean, just an absolute load. And it's super hard to find one that you think it's going to fit what you're looking for. I like the height on this kid out of California. Uh, here is a Mr. Basketball out of Louisiana. One out of Washington. I want to. I, I want to take a chance on the kid out of Louisiana at least. We don't know what he's into, but I want to add him to the list. Uh, let's go request game tape, and I want to make sure he gets added to the list. All right, let's look at a shooting guard. We're gonna go here, and we got a bunch of national dudes. Let me go and sort this local, region, national. So this is kind of where we're at at this point. Looks like this kid has already been scouted a little bit, but he's a shooting guard that's got a C on the three-point. I need somebody who can shoot a three, so I can't go with this guy. Uh, the rest of these, we don't know anything about. We've never scouted them or anything. They're all national. I want to take a chance on this Mr. Basketball right here. Let's add him to the list. And I'm going to request game tape. C on the three points. I'm going to take him off the list. Uh, let's try... Uh, let's look here. Uh, I think we got a chance at this kid, possibly. I'd like to see if he can... Can he shoot a three? Nope. C on the three-point. Not good enough. Uh, let's go to this next guy out of California. Do we got a chance with him? We got a really good chance with him. Let's request some tape. B minus on the three-point. We may need to put uh, a, a, him on the target list. Uh, right now, I'm afraid I can't be too picky at this point. Let's go add him to the list. Let's look at some of these other ones. Here's a kid out of Maryland we can try. Let's look and see if he can shoot a three. We don't know yet. Uh, we may need to... Do we got a chance at him? I, I think we kind of do. We're already in fourth place. Let's go ahead and add him to the list. We're already down to the tens. Uh, let's, here's another kid. Out, okay, here's a Mr. Basketball. Yeah, uh, let's go request game tape on him. Don't have enough. Don't have enough, and I am... I'm just going to add him to the list for now. I'm going to request game tape in the next week for somebody who can actually do that a little bit better in terms of scouting. So next thing we're going to do, I'm going to refresh this again. We're going to go back to our targets, and I added uh, a few of these guys right here. These four right here, I, uh, I need to sort that. There we go. That's more like it. Uh, these last four or five, let me go back up here. And I'm going to phone the recruit for the rest of these. Make sure we got all that situated. 
Are we out of bone recruit? I guess we are. We got this guy. We got this guy. We got this guy. We got... Just keep doing it for all of these. Use them up as best you can. Now, these points should carry over. Again, I'm going to wait to request game tape when my two best scouters can look at that a little bit better down the road. So the rest of this, we are just going to email the rest of them. And we'll go here. And then we're going to move on to the next week. So it's going by pretty quickly. We're going to do that. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. And I'm down to my last guy. We got like 14 points left, which is fine. So let's go back to our schedule. And we're going to go ahead and sim the rest of the week. And then, let's see, the final day to set your roster. Uh, no. We're going with Vordy Dunner, Red Sharding. We're good there. All right, so we got one more week of recruiting, and we're going to finish that up, and then I'm going to let you go, and then our next video should be our first game of the season. So let's go and save this first. Do it now. Just be smart about it. All right, let's go to recruiting. Recruits, and let's go look at our targets. Let's see what we got. Now we can actually uh, offer scholarships. So this kid right here, I don't know. I don't know if we have a chance of getting him. I, don't, I just don't know if we do. I think Notre Dame and Louisville has a much better chance of getting him than we do. His biggest thing is getting good coaching and playing time. I think we got a chance there. I really think we do. Uh, I think it's worth trying. So let's just go ahead and just do a... Let's offer him a scholarship. That already moved us up to the number two spot. I am going to... Let's do the scout first. Let's go do that. And I'm going to phone the recruit. And let's just go ahead and email him. I think he's well worth it. So, all right, let's go on to the next one. Let's go look at this center. Missouri State already moved up the top of his list just because he uh, they offered a scholarship. But the, I really want this guy just because he's so tall and his uh, rebounding is good enough. Getting playing time, that's not going to be an issue for us. So that's good. I think we got a really good chance at him. So I'm going to offer a scholarship. We're going to do that. And we're going to invite him to our campus. I think it's well worth it doing that. I'm going to phone the recruit. And we're going to email. We'll have him do that. I think it's well worth it. We need size in the worst way going forward. Uh, Whitworth, let's look at this small forward. Looks like Bama is in the lead, but we're number two on the, on the list. A B minus on the three-pointer. Dunk is at the B. Uh, feeling wanted, that's a good thing. That means as long as we pour points on them, I think we got a chance. But before we do that, I want to look at the Kreitz kid. This is the kid I probably want more than any of them. Uh, being close to home, this is the one that we got a chance. I still think we do. It's uh, Boston College and Pitt are the only ones that are going to give us some problems. That and Michigan State. But he's got an A minus on the three-pointer. Uh, we got to get this kid. Let's just offer him a scholarship. We're going to invite him to our campus. We're going to phone the recruit. We got to do everything to get that kid. I think he's just priority number one, honestly. Uh, let's look at these three guys right here. Uh, Three-pointer for the small forward. Uh, C plus, it's a B-plus for this guy. We really got to get this kid. I think he's worth putting a scholarship on. I think we got a really good chance. What is he into? What's his interest? Good coaching and playing at a big program. We can take care of both of those. So let's go ahead put a scholarship on him. We're going to uh, visit him. I don't have enough points to do that. Uh, we can... Can we do this at least? He doesn't have enough points. He doesn't have enough points. Uh, nobody has enough points to do any of that. Ooh. Let's just go ahead and do that. And we're going to email the recruit. Uh, so I think we're in good shape there. Now we're down to, what, 15 points the rest of the way. Let's go ahead and offer a scholarship to somebody that we know we really want. So there we are. We moved up number one for this guy right here, Jaw Jaw Kreitz. Let's go to the next guy. I think we're going to have a hard time getting this kid. Uh, this uh, Bogans. Now, is this the one B minus uh, out of Houston? I think I'm going to just cut my ties with him. We're going to remove him from the list. Can you move somebody up your list? I wish you could. Manage target list. That's what I want to do. There you go. I knew they had something in there like that. Uh, Staley is up there. Our two centers need to be up here. 
and that's good for now. So let me go back and just make sure I have this correct. Kreitz, I want him for sure. Uh, this guy, because of his three-point shooting. Rickert and this guy right here, definitely. I, I actually want to put Rickert. I think we got a better chance at him anyways. We're going to put him there. We're going to put him at the four, Greer. Now, the re remainder of these guys, let's just look and see what we got, just to make sure I have got a scholarship on all of four of these at least. So we're down to, what, two scholarships? Let's be picky about it. Let's look at Whitworth. Uh, this is the one I think we're... I'm, I'm going to wait on this kid. Yes, he's a top 10 player, but I'm going to wait. Uh, this guard, I need to find out more about him. I want to re request game tape. Uh, C minus and B plus on the pass. B plus is actually pretty good. His handle is absolutely terrible. Um, I am, I think I'm going to cut ties with him. I need somebody who can really handle the ball. What I really like to do with a point guard is just dribble around, do some things there. Uh, do we got a chance at him? Uh, we could. If he was like a better shooter and just, he doesn't do much of anything well. So I think I'm actually going to cut ties with him. Let's go look at this point guard. I need his as a B minus and a C on the handle. But he is a Mr. Basketball. I'd rather take a chance at him than anybody else. So let's go ahead. I am going to put a scholarship on him. Oh, man. Hopefully we'll see if he can shoot the ball. We'll see. But we're going to phone the recruit. We can't do that. Let's go over here. Uh, we've done that. Uh, right now, let's look at this shooting guard. B minus. I think we got to keep him on the list for now. Let's go to the next one. We got a shooting guard. We don't know what this guy can do. Do we got even a chance at him? I don't know if we do. Maybe West Virginia is going to give him give us a run for our money. I'd like to see if he could shoot though. But we can't. Uh, I'm just going to wait. Uh, let's look at the shooting guard. This last one. We don't know anything about him, but he's an I. Bradford is the only one that's offering him a scholarship. And that's the only reason why they're number one in his list. I actually want to. We're going to do that. Let's see what he can do. He is a shooting guard. He can't. Is C plus on the three points. B minus. I want to keep him on the list just because he's a Mr. Basketball. I'm here to tell you those things. Those guys really matter. I am going to wait and give that scholar, extra scholarship to somebody else. I'm just not in a hurry to do that just yet. So for the remainder of these, let me go ahead. Are we down to no points whatsoever? We are down to literally nothing. We, we got an email recruit. We can do that. We can do this. We can at least get these email recruit things out of the way. And that is it. So I think we're in great shape for the top four to five dudes right here. I really think we are. Really excited about several of these guys. I hope you are too. I mean, look, this guy right here is going to be a, just an awesome ball player. Can we get him? Man, we're going to try our best. He is priority number one. Same with uh, this shooting guard. He's a B plus on the three. We got to get him. Next up, we got two centers. I need at least one of them. If we can't find, uh, if we can only get one, we can go get like a three-star kid later. We may end up having to do that. We're going to closely monitor this guy right here. I don't know if we can get him. It's going to be close. I think we got a chance. Only because of good coaching, playing time, big time program, all that fits what uh, we are trying to do there. So I think we got a chance there. All right. All we got left is go to the schedule. And we got College of Charleston, our first game of the season. Uh, their RPI is 260. Well, the RPI doesn't mean anything at this point. Uh, but you look at their overall 78. That's not bad. 81 on the offense. 82, 82, 81 on the coach. Of course, our coach is at 100 because we maxed him out. So come on back. We will take on uh, uh, Charleston, and it should be a whole lot of fun. All right. I'll talk to you later.